Visit our site www.akayas.blogspot.com and www.akaya.blogspot.com for more updates. Preparation of Cash Flow This video is not for any commercial purpose, that is for educational purpose only. Sharing is allowed through YouTube and authorized bloggers' sites. Before going through problems, we will learn some basic question in this part 1 video. Definitions as pros 3. What is cash? Cash comprises cash in hand and demand deposits with bank. So cash equals cash in hand plus demand deposits with bank. What is cash equivalence? Cash equivalence. Cash equivalents are short-term, highly liquid investments that are readily convertible into known amounts of cash and which are subject to an insignificant risk of change in value. So cash equivalents equals short-term investments plus readily convertible plus insignificant risk. What is cash flow? Cash flow. Cash flow are inflow and outflow of cash and cash equivalents. What is operating activity? Operating activity, operating activities are the principal revenue producing activities of the enterprise and other activities that are not investing and financing activities. So operating activities e equals principal revenue producing activities plus not investing or financing activities. What is investing activities? Investing activities. Investing activities are the acquisitions and disposal of long-term assets not included in cash equivalents. So investing activities equals purchase and sale of long-term assets plus not cash equivalents. What is financing activities? Financing activities are activities that results in change in the size and composition of the owner's capital including preference share capital in case of a company and borrowings of the enterprise. So financing activities E equals change in owner's capital and borrowings. Note, in case of company, owner's capital includes preference share capital. Cash flow statement does not show movement between items cash and cash equivalents. Yes. An investment is a cash equivalence only if it is readily convertible to known amount of cash is subject to an insignificant risk of change in value, and a short maturity of three months or less. So cash and cash equivalents are clubbed together since the essential character of both are almost the same. Investments in shares are excluded from cash equivalents? Yes, preference share of a company acquired shortly before their specified redemption date provided there is only insignificant risk of failure of the company to repay the amount at maturity can be included in cash and cash equivalent but investment in equity shares can't be included in cash equivalents because of high risk of change in value. As 3 requires that 3 separate categories of cash flow should normally be shown. Operating activity. Investing activity. Financing activity. Increase in shares due to bonus issue will not be shown on the cash flow. True, since bonus issue does not involve any receipt of cash, it is a capitalization of reserve. Issue of shares at premium will be shown as share plus premium. True, full amount of consideration including premium shall be shown under financing activity. Any loss or gain on account of foreign currency transaction should not be shown in profit and loss account. Yes, such loss or gain transactions should be reconciled with cash balances and not shown in profit and loss account. Foreign currency cash flow should be converted at the exchange rate of the date of cash flow. Interest and dividends are classified as operating activity for financial enterprises. Yes, it is operating activity for a financial enterprise but investing activity for other enterprise. Any interest received on advance to employee or supplier should be treated as cash inflow from operating activity. Yes. 
cash arising from acquisition and from disposal of subsidiaries or other business units should be classified as investing activities. Yes. Cash flows from future contracts, forward contracts, option contracts, and swap contracts should be treated as cash flow from investing activities. Yes. Purchase of assets by issue of shares and conversion of debenture into shares excluded from cash flow statements. Yes. Because it is non-cash transactions. From the 1st of April 2001 cash flow statement as 3 is mandatory in respect of all commercial, industrial and business reporting enterprises where turnover for the accounting period exceeds rupees 50 crores. Yes, and from January 4, 2004 preparation of cash flow is mandatory for all level 1 enterprises. Please refer as 3. www.ikias.blogspot.com Interest paid by other than financial enterprises shown under financing activity. Yes, for both financial and non-financial enterprises interest paid shall be shown under financial activity. Extraordinary items. Example, bad debts recovered, insurance claim and income tax shall be disclosed separately. The cash flows associated with extraordinary items should be classified as arising from operating, investing or financing activities as appropriate and separately disclosed. Advantage of cash flow Discloses movement of cash. Discloses successes or failure of cash planning. Efficiency in cash management. Predict enterprises' liquidity, flexibility, and ability to generate future cash flows. Determines entities' ability to meet its obligation as they become due. Enhance comparability of reporting. Assess the reliability of the amount of net profit. Break up operating and other profit cash flow assess increase or decrease to assets and liability. Limitation of cash flow. Does not show changes in working capital at a glance. Does not reflect accrued income and expenses. Create confusion in the mind of the readers. Note, income statements takes into account both cash as well as non-cash items. May not represent the real liquidity position. Difference between a cash flow and a fund flow statement. Cash flow statement. Based on cash basis. Whereas fund flow statement. Is based on accrual basis. Cash flow statement. Is concerned with cash. Whereas fund flow statement. Is concerned with working capital. Cash flow statement. Shows the effect of cash on operating, investing and financing activities of a business for an accounting period. Whereas fund flow statement. Shows source and application of funds during a period. Cash flow statement. Is used mainly for short term planning. Whereas fund flow statement. It is used for long intermediate and long term planning. Cash flow statement. Shows cash generated from operation. Whereas fund flow statement. Shows funds generated from operations. This video is not for any commercial purpose, that is for educational purpose only. Sharing is allowed through YouTube and authorized bloggers' sites.